There's a lot of talk about empathy lately, and I think that's awesome because it's a really important relationship skill to develop, the ability to empathize with someone that we care about. But we have to be kind of careful with this one and how we do empathy because it can go in the opposite direction to where we think we're trying to make the other person feel seen and supported, but they actually end up feeling unseen and alone. And I'm Stacey Rockline on a mission to eradicate loneliness. So being able to empathize well is a really great skill for us to develop. The definition is to, um, the, to have the ability to understand and share the feelings of another person. And I agree with that kind of, but I don't think it's exactly right because I think empathy is an approximation. Like we're gonna get as close as we can to understanding what the other person is going through, but we never really totally understand it. So when we're developing empathy, and like I said, really critical to develop, especially if you know, you're know you just new to your emotional work, and that's very normal. Lots of us came out of households where we didn't talk about emotions, we didn't learn about emotions. We're just, you know, teaching ourselves as grown-ups how to feel emotions. And so when you stop and you ask yourself, how do I feel? And use a feel wheel, which there's a link here. You can grab one if you don't have one. Then you start to put language around feelings, understand how it feels in your body, and that helps widen your scope. So when you watch someone else going through a similar difficult thing, you kind of have an idea of what it's like. You can give them grace. You can give them space. You can give them tenderness because you are able to do an approximation of their experience. And that's an amazing skill. It's just close though. So let's do an example. I have a friend who just lost her dog and um, her dog passed away. And I have lost a dog also, and I it was absolutely devastating. It was one of the hardest experiences I've ever gone through. I can think I know what that's like because of what the experience I've had, and I can have a lot of compassion for what that must feel like for her. But do I really know exactly? Every single person's like life experience in their past has influenced how they feel about something right now. This same friend lost her spouse in the last year. So do I really know what that level of grief might feel like? What this loss might feel like in the context of her life? No, I haven't gone through that. None of us have ever gone through exactly what someone else is going through. So we can get close with empathy, but we also have to be careful because this can go very wrong. For example, if you say to somebody who just went through a hard breakup or just lost their job and you those things have happened to you so you have a pretty good idea of what they might be going through and you say, I know exactly how you feel. That person potentially might go, no, you actually don't know how I feel internally. And that makes them feel unseen. That makes them feel lonely by themselves in the experience. And you're actually doing something that's really important. You're trying to support them and to empathize with them. So that can be kind of a dangerous sentence to say if the person is going to, in their mind, think to themselves, no, you don't get it. Another thing that we do sometimes and we are trying to connect, so they have an experience and then we go, oh my gosh, that happened to me. And we share an experience that we've had that's similar. And what we're doing is we're kind of taking the mic from them in their moment of need. And we're doing it for the best of reasons. We want them to feel seen and supported, but it can do the opposite. It can make them feel like this is about them now. So how do we do it well? Let's talk about that. One, ask great questions. Find out how they feel. Let them put the feelings words in their mouth. They'll tell you, I'm feeling really sad, I'm depressed, I'm grieving, whatever it is. You can make an assumption because it helps you develop compassion, but let them tell you their words. Then you can do a validating statement and just keep it general so that it makes them feel 
scene, right? Like, that sucks. That's awful. I'm so sorry you're going through that. It says, I'm hearing you, I'm listening to you, I am doing my best to understand you, but I'm not going to assume I know exactly how you feel. And don't share your own experience in that moment. It can be super tempting, and I am totally guilty of it, of wanting to connect by saying, me too. But in this moment of need for them, when you're using empathy because you want them to feel supported, you want them to feel seen, Pull back on your life experience, unless of course they ask. Let this moment be about them. Don't accidentally yank the attention back to you in an attempt to connect with them. It's just really important that we handle how we do empathy in a way that will make the other person feel less lonely and feel that we are there for them. Now, Feel wheel, you can pick that up at the link. That will just give you a big long list of lots of different emotions. If you're still dipping your toe into the emotional world and learning how to name what you're feeling, which is kind of the first step for developing empathy is starting at home. <laughs> what am I feeling right now? And knowing how that feels in your body, being able to put a name to it, that can be really helpful in our relationships to start with us. So the good ways to do it. Ask questions, lots of good questions. Let them tell you how they feel. Do some general validating statements that make them feel seen. And hold back on your experience that's similar in that moment so they really feel like our focus is on you, you're having a difficult moment, and I am here for it. I am here for you. That can, can help you develop these deep connections with the people that you care about the deep connections we all want in our relationships and empathy is an awesome tool for that. All right, grab your feel wheel and I will see you next time.